are the immediate creators of the vast creature family of the third source and center. All orders of the ministering spirits spring from this association. Primary supernifim originate in the infinite spirit. Secondary beings of this order are created by the master spirits. Tertiary supernifim by the seven spirits of the circuits. The reflective spirits collectively are the mother makers of a marvelous order of the angelic hosts, the mighty Sikonifim of the superuniverse services. A creative spirit is the mother of the angelic orders of a local creation. Such seraphic ministers are original in each local universe, though they are fashioned after the patterns of the central universe. All these creators of ministering spirits are only indirectly assisted by the central lodgment of the infinite spirit, the original and eternal mother of all the angelic ministers. The seven supreme spirit groups are the coordinators of the inhabited creation. The association of their directing heads, the seven master spirits, appears to coordinate the far-flung activities of God the sevenfold. One, collectively, the master spirits near equivalent to the divinity level of the trinity of paradise deities. Two, individually, they exhaust the primary associable possibilities of triune deity. Three, as diversified representatives of the conjoint actor, they are the repositories of that spirit-mind-power sovereignty of the Supreme Being, which he does not yet personally exercise. Four, through the reflective spirits, they synchronize the super-universe governments of the Ancients of Days with Majeston, the paradise center of universe reflectivity. Five, in their participation in the individualization of the local universe divine ministers, the master spirits contribute to the last level of God the sevenfold, the creator-son, creative spirit union of the local universes. Functional unity, inherent in the conjoint actor, is disclosed to the evolving universes in the seven master spirits, his primary personalities. But in the perfected super-universes of the future, this unity will undoubtedly be inseparable from the experiential sovereignty of the Supreme. Presented by a Divine Counselor of Uversa